Okay, well, howdy tubers. Well, I see the audio worked that time. I don't know if it's because I got in and said that it was for 18 or older or not or something. I don't know, but we're just going to try it again. But, as you can see, I got the prop off, and I've taken the this baffle out because when I changed the oil and I was going to pull the sump out, there wasn't enough clearance here, so I've got that marked where I can trim it around there so I can get that off so you can um, clean the screen out when you change the oil. So, now I will go ahead and take my oil cooler out, <clears throat> wiping up the little mess, and um, see if that, see if that's going to fit up here, see if I can figure out a way to way to attach it a little drop of oil on the bottom of the plug so just have to see i brought a another inch in because i couldn't couldn't find the other one i thought i must have left it out here because i couldn't find it at home but i bought, brought out another inch and a half hole saw and like I said in the last video I brought out my dimpling dies so if I go ahead and add maybe another hole on each side of here to uh, get more air in there for the for this but I think I'll, of course I'm gonna see if it'll at least um, fit up there first so anyway Main thing was I wanted to see if the audio was going to work. I don't know if I've got to change that setting every time. But uh, I guess we'll find out. I'll go to it and see if, it, if, it, if I need to change it again when I get to that spot. So anyway, engine still looks pretty clean. Of course, we've got five or six hours on it now. So anyway there you go oh um uh, the tank is uh you've heard of me talk about james and he's got the zenith and the double wide and anyways uh tow truck driver he's got my he's got my tank i was going to take it to a guy that builds hot rods and and uh see if he could weld it he was kind of worried about being thirty-two thousandths, but uh we'll see what happens maybe it'll just turn to snot or something uh, but I do have an, uh, the, the original tank I had in the first Ultra Cruiser. I almost brought it out, but I would have had to stop and get it if they had another one. Another shutoff valve. And, uh, and I've got another finger filter at home that I could have brought. And I got another nipple to brought, but I would have needed to find and I might have had another 90 degree from uh, I think it's quarter inch pipe thread to a quarter inch bulb barb. Uh, but if I gonna if I end up having to go and get some more hose, well I think I'll just go home and um, go ahead and uh, go ahead and do that at home on the on my well with um either bandsaw or something to cut that out or nips or something and then do it on my or um with oscillating sand barrel sander or whatever they call it from harbor freight that works pretty good so anyways i'll get this video out there beautiful day god's provided us so a little bit warmer than it was yesterday, but it was nice. Would have been uh, the the ones that did fly. Matt flew yesterday, and and James did, and Vernon, and they said it was just smooth as can be. So missing out. Anyways, there you go, and God bless.